Welcome to the journey. Today we're gonna share five ways to make money podcasting. Is this thing on? It's not plugged in. <laughs> so we recently did a YouTube video, you can check it out above here, and it was all about tips for beginners. And a question that came up that was valid and motivated this was, how can I make money podcasting? Right, like podcasting has seen such a huge surge in just listenership, I would say is the word. It was say viewership, you don't actually see it. I can't but see anything. But more and more people mine. are are jumping on the podcast bandwagon, whether it's listening to it or even creating their own. And yeah. it is a valuable and viable way to create a passive income of doing your podcast and making money behind it. So you might be thinking, it's time to start a podcast. Maybe you currently have a podcast. The next step is, all right, how can I monetize this? But let's talk about five different ways that you can make money podcasting, starting with sponsorships and ads. I think this is probably the most commonly thought of way to make money on podcasts. It's mm -hmm. like, hey, let's get some sponsors, right? If you ever watch like a YouTube video or even listen to a podcast and either in the beginning or partway through, they take a, a second and like, all right, cool. This episode is sponsored by LaCroix. Blah, blah, blah. What Neely drinks on every episode. Yeah. So typically ad spots are anywhere from like 30 to 60 seconds and they can be a pre-recorded message from the sponsor itself. But I know a lot of sponsors would rather have the, the talent, if you will, mm. talk about their business for them. So they'll give you kind of a description of like, hey, this is the product or service I want you to talk about. Uh, but talk about it in your own words because this is your audience. And I would say uh, once you really start hitting that that 5,000 a month uh, download range on your, your podcast is really when you start to get the attention from sponsors. You can also uh, reach out to sponsors that you could potentially work with as well. Totally. And it works. I mean, when I listened to the Surf podcast, that's how I learned about this really cool wetsuit brand. And the wetsuit brand was unique because it had like retro mm -hmm. vibes and how the style was. And that turned me into a customer and wetsuits are not cheap. Right. So in a matter of a short advertisement, short clip, they had at least me spend, you know, a good chunk of change yeah. on merchandise. And it's relevant to the audience, right? It's a surf podcast and they're talking about, they're advertising wetsuits. Another way to make that money with your podcast is affiliate marketing. And now what affiliate marketing is, is maybe it's a product review that you have linked to, like Amazon does affiliates and maybe it's a business you've partnered with that you have a special code that you're essentially promoting on your your podcast. Mm -hmm. And it, it, there's a fine line of being too salesy and then making it make sense. I would recommend with, if, if you do do affiliate marketing, make it a product you actually use and that you actually endorse. Kind of going back to that sponsor for ad, don't do something that doesn't make sense. Make it make sense to you and your audience. I saw one that did not land. It was for a surf, well, it was Kelly Slater. Okay. Great surfer, well-renowned. And it was for a watch brand. And it's a pretty high class watch that they're talking about. And he's, you know, surfs with it apparently. And the whole time I'm thinking, no way is he surfing with a watch. A watch would be completely uncomfortable in the water. And you, yeah, you do sometimes need to know what time it is, but no one surfs with watches on. So I thought it was such a stretch. If you go the affiliate marketing route, make sure that affiliate information is in like your show notes, your transcriptions as well. And then, hey, if they give you a URL, make that URL easy to remember. Yeah. I know if you're using WordPress, like I do with everything, there's a plugin called Pretty Links. And basically it Wait, sets so up- Pretty Links? Pretty Links, like pretty- Cute. Pretty Links. So it makes pretty links for you. So instead of having some giant long URL, you can be basically like justineely.com slash buy this. And it re redirects off to Short whatever sweet. page that I want to go to. And I know Smart Passive Income, uh, Pat Flynn, he has a pretty popular podcast. He does the same thing with his business and the things that he endorses, especially with his online courses that he creates. Mm -hmm. They're nice little pretty links and sends them off. The URL is different when they get there, but it's pretty for someone to type. So the third way to monetize your podcasting is through subscriptions and paid content. So for example, the platform Patreon, this is a great example of that, is where you can go and you have, you know, maybe the content that you're sharing with everyone else on this channel, but you give that channel extra. 
Right. So things that only I have to pay in order to see this additional content. Yeah, it's Patreon is super popular for not only podcasters, but creators of all sorts. Uh, and it essentially lets you give exclusive content only to a specific part of your community that, that pays for it. Now you wanna be careful, right? Like uh, Unless you're a celebrity, it's gonna be very hard for people to fork over money uh, that they think they could get free elsewhere. So start to think of different ideas of Incentives. how can you like really elevate and add value to your audience to make them want to pay? Whether it's like uh, premium content or premium podcast that only they can listen yeah. to and they can't get anywhere else. Maybe merch. it's a monthly hangout, swag. maybe it's merch, maybe it's swag. Think of content that you can give just them that adds true value that would make them want to pay. You gotta take a look at the BTS. Right. And now Patreon is gonna be a, something that you don't have full control over. So you have to pay them a little bit of the portions that go towards your membership, but it does add a ton of value to your audience if you're able to deliver. So the fourth way to monetize your podcasting, it's pretty simple. Donations, you might as well ask, it's worth a shot. Yeah. Maybe you just need a little bit to cover your cost. Let your people know that. And speaking of your listeners, it doesn't actually matter how many are listening to you. Think about the quality of your listeners. Is this a group that truly is organic? And if so, they're really in tune with what you're putting out there. Trust their good hearts. They yeah. want to keep listening to you. So they're going to donate. Absolutely. And if you're adding, again, a ton of value or whether you're entertaining them, inspiring them, or just educating them, depending on whatever your podcast is, now, if you're doing all these things, they're gonna almost feel selfish for getting all this content for free. So sometimes they're just gonna wanna give back. And it can be as simple as adding a button on your site and saying, help me buy a cup of coffee. It's whatever the cup of coffee is, five bucks, things like that. You can go on and donate your site. And now that you're getting a little bit of kickback in, they're, they're contributing to you and then you get your caffeine fix. Yeah. The fifth way to make money with your podcast is kind of indirectly, it's by building your brand, right? I know a lot of people use a podcast as a marketing tool that essentially acts as a lead generator over to mm -hmm. their business, no matter what services they offer. Uh, a really great business that I follow a lot is StoryBrand, and they have a podcast, uh, My Story Brand, where they kind of talk about different businesses and their story and like just the different processes through. Uh, it's actually how I found out about them is I found their podcast, started listening to them, Got a ton of content from it. Nice. They talked about their business and their website and their book. It led me to buy their book and then really check out the rest of their content. So it helped me basically, they got money because I listened to a couple episodes of the podcast. Yeah. And they and were they adding well. credibility. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and it's it's been a great podcast ever since and I'm still listening to this day. You just learned five ways to make money podcasting. Comment below, let us know your podcast if you have one. Also be sure to like this video. And hey, subscribe to our channel and ring that bell so you get these episodes first. This is The Journey. We'll see you next time.